Hey guys and welcome to the 13th video in this tutorial series and this one's going to be fairly short as we're just going to be importing the sprites we made earlier to use for our power-ups. So let's just go right into the editor now. Guys, so here I am in the editor and I have all of my sprites that we made earlier in the last video in this folder here. So basically what I want to do is go ahead and move down to our assets folder and resources and I'm going to make a new folder just called sprites. And obviously I'm just going to go ahead and drag these in here and co uh, copy them in. And um, we're just going to be leaving these in PSD format because it just makes it uh, a much faster workflow because you can edit your PSDs in Photoshop and then as soon as you save them you'll see the changes in Unity immediately. Okay so now that we're done importing all of these I'm going to make a couple changes. So first for all of these we want to change our pixels per unit to 1000. We want to leave our filter mode on trilinear. I'm going to move my max size down to 1024 and then I'm going to go with true color. Now these settings are good for PC, um, at least in my case. I can't say 100% that these are uh, good for mobile. As a matter of fact, they're probably not. So in later videos, we'll be optimizing for mobile, but not in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that for all of these different uh, sprites. Okay, so now that I've finished applying all these changes, I'm going to go ahead and lock this project tab and I'm going to add another project tab. This way we can easily see all of our uh, sprites here. And then on this one, so if we lock this one, it'll stay at our sprites. So for this one, we'll go over to our prefabs and then our power ups. And then in our power ups, we're just going to go ahead and change all of these sprites. Um, not like that. We're going to actually drag them over here. So if I select this, and I see instead of knob, I'll grab my power up 2x, and so on as we do this for all of these. Uh, looks like we have all of them now, so if I save, it'll automatically refresh all of these. And now the scale is going to be 0.2. And since we're doing, as soon as you change the pixels per inch setting, um, uh, the size of the sprites will change based on the transform scale. So now if we set all of these like this, we should be uh, ready to go in the game and see our sprites spawn properly. So if we hit play, there's our 2x multiplier. But the problem is we haven't changed the colliders at all, so they're a little inaccurate. So why don't we go ahead and drag one of these prefabs in, go to it, and then we'll edit our collider. So our collider is tiny. Now, if we drag it all the way up to here, it's about 2. So I'll just hit 2 and hit enter. And I'll apply that. So now what I'm going to do is copy this component. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the rest of our power-ups, since they all have a circle border. So I'm going to paste the component values here and do it for the rest of all of these. Okay, so now that I've finished changing all of those settings, we're ready to test the game out. So if I hit play, we should see a power-up spawn every two seconds. And if we can get one to spawn closer to me so I can safely grab it, we should see our colliders working properly and these guys are spawning every two seconds. And they look nice too. Now our only problems are that nothing really um, looks visually appealing because we don't have any effects and we don't have any uh, movement with them but we'll get to that uh, but not in this video okay guys that is all we're gonna be doing in this video but in the next one we're gonna be creating a system for the player to visualize how long he has each power up for but for now I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button for the rest of the series and thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one